All right, guys, so for this video, we are driving through the good, the bad, and the ugly neighborhoods around downtown Greenville. So uh, currently though, we are downtown and uh, looking to go to more of the uh, Dunning area. So how do you say these areas? Is it Dunning or Dunning? But you see it on a map, that's the thing, is people who are relocating or here in the area, you see like Dunning, Judson, Welcome, that, that's where we're headed. Um, how do you say those areas? And they actually don't have addresses accompanying to them. It's just what the area is called. We are on the west end side in the historic district of, well, it's the West End Historic District. Go figure. Uh, driving past Gather, which totally should go check out. Uh, lots of different uh, restaurants, nice place to sit, uh, chat, grab a drink. Uh, also, there's the brand new Children's Theater, which I've not had a chance to go to yet, but that's cool. Uh, also, Floor Field, so the uh, baseball stadium is over here, and they just built up all of these apartments over here, uh, and there's some condos and some really nice townhomes, uh, and then also where we're going to be driving, uh, you have, I would say, like, the older style of uh, homes that a lot of them have been flipped, so, or, or they've been completely like torn down and remodeled, or they've been torn down and had uh, brand new houses built up. Uh, if you like plants, there's a brand new like plant shop just back there off of Augusta here, which is also cool. I kill all of my plants though. So I have, <laughs> I do not have a green thumb. <laughs> Somebody help me with that. So we're gonna go, this is just, it's all walkable uh, downtown without actually living, without actually living like downtown Main Street. Um, it's a very, uh, some of these areas are trans transitional, meaning like some of the houses are like completely redone. Some of the houses have been here for 50 years uh, and not redone. Uh, so the residents of this area, uh, the residents of this area uh, have, like you get two different types of people basically. So you get the type of person who has lived here forever or like these houses over here, um, they're brand new. And so those people have lived here for maybe five years. Um, you also have rental properties here in the area. It's really a, a hodgepodge of different styles of homes uh, that I know that, you know, it, it's not, you, you don't necessarily have the sidewalks. You don't have, um, you know, it's not necessarily the easiest place to walk, but people do walk this area. Let's see here. We're gonna do this here. Do, do, do. Continue one quarter mile on Guest Street, then make a sharp left turn. You also have mill houses all over this area. 
so Millhouse's that style of home is uh, specifically like they're the houses that have like a big front porch, and, and that's it. That's what what's around here, um, and we're kind of on the uh, outskirts of of the Dunning area right now. So we're gonna actually go this way. Do, do, do. Hey, I've seen this house over here for sale. This one right here at 805A. It's like $550,000. It's being used as an Airbnb. It's five minutes from downtown. It's really not a bad area. Uh, so looks like there's walkability. There's people that are out walking um, the sidewalks right now as well. So this area is definitely like, it's a good thing to see people out walking their dogs. Uh, so from a safety aspect, I would say this area, um, it is, it's very transi transitory where it's like, you have brand new townhomes, you have construction happening. Um, and that you've got some stuff that doesn't look so great either. So if you are looking, this is one of those areas that I would say is a pocket area um, where you have some streets that are fantastic. You have some other streets that maybe aren't all that great. Um, it borders kind of this, this Greenville area that has been developed. Um, and there's some industry, some jobs, like this is where the mills were. Uh, so let's go, we're gonna go drive another neighborhood just so you can see more of what's around. This is a really good representation of the Dunning area right here. So these are, I would say, slightly lower income, um, but you do have some homes that have been redone, updated. You have areas that you have homes that people have, um, they've put time, effort, money uh, this is a neighborhood that's been here for well over 50 years at this point. Um, but again, we've been in the car for what, five, 10 minutes max? And this is Greenville. Downtown Greenville specifically. Now, if this is not what you're looking for, <laughs> keep up with us. <laughs> very different types of Greenville area. It's not all sunshine, roses, and daisies sometimes. Sometimes it's these small homes that are maybe anywhere from 700 to 1200 square feet is about how big these houses are. So towards the end of the video and you'll want to stick with us there, is we're gonna go drive the, the good, the, the neighborhood that should you have the budget to do it, I think you're gonna really like the neighborhood that's the closest to downtown Greenville. All right, so here's another area that I've seen, I actually listed a house here not too long ago um, that was new construction, that these homes have, they're either getting a renovation done or 
they are getting like knocked down and completely redone, uh, like rebuilt. All good things to pay attention to. Now this specific area, what's kind of fun and cool about it is from where we started, the farther down the street we go, the bigger the houses get, the more expensive the houses get, um, and the nicer the houses and the yards get. So it's very different whenever you are looking at, okay, this is um, a lane, all right? The, the street we are on. Um, and like, that's something that you need to, to watch. Now, um, we are actually gonna go through another area. And again, uh, some good, some bad, some ugly. Um, so this area we're headed towards is the Judson area. So the big thing about the Judson area is it was built up around the Judson Mill. Uh, if you are new to the area and you don't know anything about the Judson area, why am I even bringing it up? So the Judson Mill is being currently repurposed for businesses. It is one of the coolest things. It's got a grocery store in it. We're gonna drive down this road really fast so I can show you what I mean by bigger, better houses. Right here. With the big front porches. More estate homes. Uh, this one over here on my left is a really good example as well. Doo, 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 doo. But yeah, so Judson Mill uh, really has, it, it's the reason why that area built up to begin with. But it's not too far out from Greenville. I mean, from this side of town, you can see Paris Mountain. Um, you can see St. Francis. So that's something also to note for this area. If you are looking to be within, like, I'm talking three to five minutes from a major hospital system, uh, outside of Greenville, you have St. Francis, and then you have uh, Greenville Memorial. Uh, both are, great, are wonderful hospital systems. They both have a, a ton of programs and you'll want to make sure that, you know, if that's important to you, you'd be close to it. All right, so definitely passing over into the Judson area. So when you're looking at these neighborhoods and these areas around Greenville and you, you want to ask me questions about, or ask anyone from the team uh, about what you're seeing on a map uh, and like, the Judson area, the Dunning area, the welcome area. These areas, it's important to note where they are, but this is why I'm showing you, you're gonna get pockets. It really goes street by street down here. Uh, some streets are really great. Other streets, maybe not so much. Uh, here's a really great example. So we've got uh, like some cheaper new construction homes that definitely used to have a small mill house there. Uh, this is a really tiny street. Uh, there's hardly any street parking. Nobody has a garage. Um, but this is, again, this is just another neighborhood uh, outside of downtown. And I would say these houses, because of their location and their proximity to downtown, 
like they have the potential to be over two hundred thousand dollars to be three hundred thousand dollars this one uh, at 305 is a really good example of something that could be a little bit more expensive uh, but at the same time i don't know what's down here this is scary i shouldn't do that no you're fine you're fine you can just go down to uh, that stop sign and turn left or yeah we'll do that okay great So you'll hear me say this every so often, if we get on a call, that there are certain areas that I will tell you I would or would not move my family to. If I tell you that, then just note that not all areas are created equal. We are currently in the ugly. This is not necessarily where I would want you to say you want to absolutely be. Have I mentioned before that my husband's a police officer? <laughs> I recognize some of these street names from conversations with him. some nice houses down in here they've been redone they've been kept up so on
All right, so now we're headed over to the welcome uh, part of Greenville. Again, you're not gonna find an address that says welcome South Carolina. So I feel like the welcome area is a little bit of a better area. Um, definitely established homes, uh, an established community. Uh, it borders up next to the San Susi area as well. Um, so these are smaller homes, they're more established. They've been, they've been here a hot second. Um, larger yards on some of these lots. Um, hey, look, there's a big old yard set. You want to go? Uh, you know, who knows what we'll find. Uh, but, okay, something that I want you to notice, though, about this area. Yards are kept. Houses look like they're a little bit nicer kept and there's a cultural center. So it's usually uh, around a church or around a community center. Uh, and these communities are tucked into these great little uh, spots all over uh, the area right outside of downtown Greenville. Okay, so this is Easley Bridge Road, and it is actually, a, it's very good to know if you end up out in Easley and you work downtown or you want to come downtown, you can hop on this road and it'll take you all the way from Easley straight into downtown without having to turn or like, it, if, as long as you get to Easley Bridge Road, you won't be lost. So um, driving around Greenville is fun. Uh, you'll definitely want to make sure that you have your GPS. Um, but there's a, a few main roads that as long as you find, you'll figure out where you're at, where you're at pretty easy. Um, but with that, we're headed to the downtown area. And specifically, I know we've talked about some other downtown neighborhoods before, um, like Overbrook uh, being one in particular. Um, we're actually going to go to one of the older, definitely more established neighborhoods of Greenville, North Main. So North Main is not just um, Main Street. Okay, we're gonna ride through the area. Fun story, it's actually one of the prettiest places to go ride through at Christmas time because they almost always have the best Christmas lights. Uh, and even this past year, there was a community, it made the news. Uh, so you'll have to look it up and, and read about it. But one street had, um, you know those giant inflatable Santas? There was uh, a neighbor that um, he had some very serious health complications. Uh, and so all of the neighbors decided, um, they all got these large inflatable Santas. And I'm talking, there was like 45 of them um, that lined a street. So that's the North Main neighborhood. Did we want to do West Side? Why not? If we turn left here, we'll hit the West Village. Exactly. Cool. Let's do it. Sorry, person behind me. Yep, person with a wide load. I'm gonna go in front of you. Ooh, big load, good golly. 
Yeah, we'll do this and then we'll go to North Main. Sorry, Mr. Editor. Flip them. Okay, so kind of, I would say, a, a, an, an area uh, outside of Green downtown Greenville that um, I would really suggest looking in is kind of this, um, this west side, this area where you're gonna find the, the West Village is what it's called. Um, and it's kind of, it's, it's been really fun to watch this area grow because it's very walkable for one. So what I mean by that is, for example, you have this street that has some brand new homes. You also have um, some, I would say older homes, but a lot of this area looks to be newer build. You are an easy 10 minute walk from the village grind or uh, from uh, Unlock Coffee is another good one. There's a brewery that's not too far away. Me? Yeah, we're gonna go drive by it. I'm gonna show you where you can go walk from this area. And it's a small area uh, outside of downtown. Definitely, uh, I feel like it's very underrated. So go watch those underrated, overrated videos. I think they're really fun. So this area of the West Village, you're gonna find more sidewalks. Um, the homes are still a little bit older or they're within five years, five, 10 years at most. Uh, lots of flipped properties. You're gonna find the older construction. Uh, people sit out on their front porches around here. It's fun. So definitely like don't shy away from this. Um, just because maybe some of the houses don't look as pretty. Um, okay, so this is where over here at Poe West, uh, and I'm just gonna drive the parking lot for you so you can see where everything is. So we actually have, so the, um, how do you say that? Carolina Bonner House, or I can't say that, y'all. Uh, <laughs> it's a brewery. And can we stop right here? Um, there's also a gym down here. Um, then there's goodness, LaRue Fine Chocolate. Mm, I just had chocolate from there the first time the other day. So good. Hey, look, it's my car. <laughs> Unlock Coffee is here. I show up there all the time for coffee. And then we'll go drive this. I'll go show you where like Village Grind is and just a couple other places. Then we'll go to probably one of the prettiest neighborhoods outside of uh, downtown Greenville. So other things to note about the West Village is this is like a center for the arts as well. Um, really cool. I mean, Coastal Crust is over here, Rise Bakery, the Village Grind. Uh, this place is just, it's easy to walk. It's easy to um, see things uh, about the area. The Anchorage is a very well-known um restaurant like nationally acclaimed for their menus um, they change depending on what farm to table uh, ingredients they have
So if you live on West End, if you live in West Village, uh, you're probably, I mean, you're downtown in three minutes. So um, you can pretty much get anywhere around downtown Greenville from any of these neighborhoods within five minutes. So that's a trade-off, is if you want to live in some of these older areas or these areas that, um, you know, have more established homes or maybe lower priced homes, um, you might, you know, not be necessarily close to grocery stores. You might not have the nicest neighborhoods necessarily, but like I said, and there is by no means can I go through and like drive every single street around here. I think we'd be here for hours. If you want me to just do driving videos, I mean, I can do that too. Uh, but it'll show you uh, what's important and like it'll show you the area. There, there's just, there's a lot to offer over here. The closer in you get to downtown though, which is what we're doing at the moment, uh, you're going to see more of the apartments, the condos. Uh, there's so much development going on just tight around uh, downtown. There's a lot of talks um, within just the city governments to in city councils that, like, we need more affordable housing. Well, what is affordable? Like, a lot of that affordable housing starts in the... Um, the average price point of Greenville, which honestly is like $375,000. So, you know, it, it's stuff that pay attention to. But this next area, I think this is probably one of the, again, nicest areas that you can drive um, or live in um, right outside of downtown Greenville. Um, I am going to note, though, where we're currently driving. I get questions from you guys that, like, you want to move into uh, Greenville and you want to rent downtown for a hot minute. Uh, so where do you go and uh, where do you rent? Well, some of these apartments, Trailside is one that we just passed that uh, has very nice apartments, very walkable um, easy to um, get around. There's parking, uh, and you're not necessarily in the middle of some of the higher traffic areas. So definitely, you're gonna want to pay attention to stuff like that. Um, all right. So, oh dear, we're gonna stop right here and see where this guy's going. I don't ever drive this area or this specific street um, just because the traffic is a lot more and um, there's so many other ways to get around. Uh, knowing the back roads around here, knowing your way through some neighborhoods is very beneficial. Um, specifically, uh, like we're getting ready to... Um, Why don't we go down Main? You want to hop, hop down? Cool. Okay. So this is actually, so this is the uh, Greek Orthodox Church, which is downtown Greenville. One of the big festivals every year is actually the Greek festival. Don't miss out on it. Uh, tons of great food, something to do. Um, and I personally don't like Greek food, don't come at me. Um, it is my least favorite food, <laughs> but it's my husband's favorite. So it's my favorite. I nope, nope. I don't even like the desserts. It's bad. Like I don't like Greek yogurt and it's in everything. <laughs> 
Oh no. <laughs> I know. Okay, it's very sad. Okay. So we're getting ready to turn on to Main and we are on the side of Main Street just past the Hyatt, um, which if you're coming here, um, some quick hotels, um, the Holiday Inn Express uh, off of Main Street and, and Eccles is not a bad little hotel uh, to stay at. The Hyatt just down the street is not bad to stay at either. Uh, very walkable, easy to get around. Um, but where we're driving is this is we're this is at the very beginning of the North Main neighborhoods. Okay, um, I also have quite a few people that you want to live downtown, but not necessarily what I would consider Main Street. Like we're gonna live on North Main if we can. Um, so coming up here, they've been building a lot of townhomes in the area. Now, these are not your standard townhomes. They are starting prices usually anywhere from seven to 800,000. Um, they are three level townhomes. Sometimes they are one car garages, two car garages. They have rooftop terraces. Um, there are uh, elevators on the inside of these townhomes. Uh, but if you see them, um, they're very nice, very modern, uh, cool places to land. Uh, there's also um, a really, I would say, accessible apartment complex over here at Main and Stone. Um, so you'll want to check that out. Uh, and then Stone Avenue is a main road. So again, if you don't like the traffic, um, driving Stone Ave is a, is a way to get from the interstate all the way over to uh, Points at Highway, which will take you into like the Cherrydale area. Um, but there's a lot of businesses, a lot of restaurants, um, one of my favorite restaurants we're passing right now is the Bohemian Cafe. Very good. Um, I go there for lunch all the time. Okay, so now we are definitely in the North Main area and I am going to take us down through some of these neighborhoods. So this is just the main drag. You've got um, this double yellow line and as you get deeper down into the north main area these houses get bigger they get more stately they get just more expensive um these houses i think range anywhere from the upper 500s all the way up to the millions um and it, again it's just dependent upon where you live in this uh, community. And they're also, I would say this is, this is the good side of, you know, you're looking at an established community. You're looking for uh, homes that have been updated. Uh, you're looking for community that uh, everybody looks out for each other. So uh, the North Main Rotary Park is a big deal around here. It's a place where a lot of people come to, um, you know, have their events and community meetings. So you'll also find more homes in this area that are more uh, mid-century modern, um, that just have, like, they, there's, there's no rhyme or reason for, like, e the exact style of home in this area, because they're going to be all sorts of different styles. You're going to have traditional, you're going to have contemporary, um, you're going to have bungalows, um, just very different style homes. Um, you're gonna have new homes. You're gonna have homes that have been here for a long time. You're gonna have houses that are squeezed onto uh, the tiniest lot possible. Uh, but here, 
it, it is. It's such a beautiful area. You're going to be able to tell like, hey, this is the North Main neighborhood. Um, let's see here. Let's go back out here on the Main Street. So definitely a pretty neighborhood, um, nice and walkable. Uh, definitely you can walk downtown if you want. There's big houses, small houses, um, homes that have been here for 70 years. Um, because as, as we noted earlier, some of these houses have been here since the 50s. Um, brick homes. Homes that have more of the hardy board sidings, um, vinyl sidings, uh, smaller houses, unique construction, um, more modern houses. I keep seeing these houses that get painted black. <laughs> so that's interesting as well. Let's go drive down this area. See what we can get into. We're going to drive this loop. So if this is the type of neighborhood that you're like, Aubrey, I really want to be downtown. Um, I really want to be close to that downtown living. Make sure you contact the team. Uh, would love to hop on a 15 minute phone call with you, get on a Zoom call with you, our lender, uh, and let's talk about it. Let's see what this looks like to make this a reality, um, being able to live in this type of neighborhood, the price ranges are all over the place and I think uh, you may be surprised. There's a lot for sale right there. So if you want to build down here, you can still build. Uh, these homes, I've seen these show up an awful lot. Um, and they're on my left, more modern, but they do back up to the highway. So that there's some give and take there because uh, 385 terminates right into downtown. That's not the highway, that's Wade Hampton. Is that Wade Hampton? Yeah. It is a highway though. Technically. Wade Ham technically. So, excuse me, Wade Hampton, not 385. <laughs> Not a bad area and definitely I think you should look up North Main. All right, so there is one neighborhood that we didn't quite get to today. It is the Overbrook neighborhood. Now, if you wanna go see that video um, and see what Overbrook looks like, go look at that video. Tell me what you think. And if you have any questions, contact us. We'd love to help out. Thanks.